the book of Psalms. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. Every day we're reading the first chapter of every book in the Bible, setting down and meditating, maybe grabbing a hot cup of coffee, allowing your heart to be aligned with God's spirit as you open up your Bible. Here I am in Psalms chapter one, every day reading the very, very first chapter of each book. King David would be the author of most of the worship that is found in the 150 chapters of the book of Psalms. In Psalms 1, New Living Translation sounds like this. Oh, the joy of those godly. I know it best in King James, where it uses the word blessed. Blessed are the godly. Great joy they have. Why? Because they don't follow the advice of the world's wicked. They don't stand around gathering with sinners and scoffers. But in contrast, the Bible says in verse two, blessed are those or those that have joy will delight in meditating on the word of God. They delight in doing what is right. They delight in doing the things that God wants them to do. Day and night, they have a passion. They are consumed with meditating and thinking about the things of God found in the Word of God. That word meditate is found in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, and here it is again in Psalms chapter 1, verse 2. That our focus and our thoughts, we would be fixed meditating on the Word of God filling our hearts with the pure truth of God's word. The Bible says in verse three that David wrote, when we meditate on God's word day and night, we will become like trees planted along the river bank. And because we're planted and cultivated and watered, the Bible says we will become fruitful in each and every season without fail and our leaf or our life will never wither. And everything that we do will become fruitful. It will be alive with hope and love and grace. It says here in verse three that we will prosper. That's not so for the ungodly. For the sinner that's not repented and surrendered their lives to Christ, David calls them wicked. They have no value. They are like worthless chaff scattered to the wind. At the end of the path of their life, there'll be condemnation and judgment. Those that have not surrendered their lives to Christ will have no place among God's people, the godly. And then in verse six, what a beautiful promise we begin with in the book of Psalms. The Lord watches over the way or the path of God, of the godly but not so for the wicked. Their path will lead to destruction. Imagine that right now. God is watching over you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, the Lord's hand is upon you. He's guiding you. He's watching over you. You remember how God told Moses how to bless the people. Oh, you tell them, bless Bless the people. Tell them that God is going to keep them and his face is going to shine upon them. His grace will go before them and his peace will be within them. Why? Because the, the God of heaven, our God, watches over each and every one of us. Jesus tells us in the Gospel of Matthew that he knows every hair on our head. He watches the flowers in the field. He knows each and every bird. You remember the song, the song about the sparrow. God watches over the sparrows and he watches over you and me. Oh Lord, today I meditate on the word of God within my heart. Let my life shine. Lord Jesus, let each person be fruitful in all that they do. God, let your arms be wrapped around the mind and the heart, the spirit of each and every one. You are our strength. You are our peace. 
We thank you for the guardian angels that are going to go before us today. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, the indwelling of your spirit within our heart. I pray grace and peace in every home. I pray, God, that you would watch over and keep safe each one of your children. Bless, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, you may do what I've done on my morning prayer walk. Just meditate and ponder those popular psalms that you know in the 150 chapters of this fabulous book. It's all about worship. It's all about worship. You be blessed today as you meditate on the Word of God. In Jesus' name.